it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video. <clears throat> and today we are going to be back on Clover Creek. We're going to be doing some combining. <clears throat> uh, we're going to be combining some wheat. So we're going to go ahead and get the combine out of the shed here. See, as I said, uh, I down in yesterday's video, I downloaded a version of this map where all of the clip distances were changed, and uh, there is a couple of changes to the map. He did a couple of texture changes, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, we're going to get started off by uh, combining this field of wheat up here that is ready to rock. <clears throat> and uh, there will be a couple of videos on that, and then we'll be working on the corn. Let's see here. So we need to be in field 30, which is this field on the right. We're going to go all the way up here and start. Uh, I'm going to be running the combine. Uh, we have Joe's uh, New Holland CR990 here with the in-game 45-foot draper header. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I... Uh, I'm going to be doing some testing on this map. A buddy of mine that's playing on it, he said that uh, his beef sell for quite a lot. And they don't show in the, you know, in, in the listings for me. So I'm going to just um, fire up a test save game and try it. And uh, see what happens. See if I can um, get a good price for beef or what. And uh, if beef work. Uh, we'll be doing beef and dairy. Uh, just a uh, little something to do, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so now we got that guy ready. Um, I took a buddy of mine's advice, uh, he suggested only buying a couple of tractors instead of a whole bunch, you know, one for everything and then like a couple semis. So I did that, I got the Kenworth T680 and the CT660 for my trucks. Here you see the tractors, uh, Case IH 470 quad track, uh, New Holland T9 450, and John Deere 4555, I mean. Um... So the 4555 is what's going to be running the grain cart uh, because that's a non-articulated tractor and non-articulated is what I want to be running the uh, grain cart with. And leg is setting in again already. Oh, I hate this. This is such crap. I will be right. And we're back hopefully without the leg this time. Um, let's see, we need to get this door opened up. We're going to pull the CT660 out, because that's what we're going to run hopper trailer with. Then we will go ahead and get the uh, grain cart out and get it hooked up. You can see we got the Dura Hall trailer, a couple of uh, Trail Tech trailers. 4440 Patriot Sprayer, uh, DB60, Kinsey 1050, Kuhn Kraus, and um, <clears throat> the Meridian Seed Express 1260. Got a uh, nice array of equipment in there. Oh, we will go ahead and get this guy up here and set up on course play and ready to rock. He is going to have to make quite the track, I think. Maybe not. 
I'm not sure. We'll have to start combining before we can um, set up course plane stuff. Let's see. We want our straw swath uh, for our future dairy cattle. And beef cattle, maybe. Quite the uh, wheat texture here. Okay, so let's get this guy fired up. We're gonna go ahead and sneak by the T680 here. Over here and grab the duels. Go we'll grab the grain cart. And we'll head out to the field. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> See, I don't know why it just lagged out there. I still plan to take my PC in and get it looked at. Um, I want to find out if it's not pulling its full weight and if it's not, then why it's not. And see if it needs a good cleaning what it needs I'm sure it's gonna cost me a little bit but if it can get fixed then it'll be worth it I'm gonna untarp that I think with this truck, what we'll do, put him right here. Then he can get out on the road. And there should be a gravel road up here someplace. Maybe not. Okay, so he's going to have to go the long way around. Okay, this actually is not going to work. That's too far of a haul. He's going to be sitting there for... The green card's going to be sitting there full forever at that rate. So I think what we need to do... <clears throat> I know exactly what to do. Here we go. Okay, so we can set this guy up. To start right here. I never did get an auger tractor. I guess I kind of forgot about it, but. Oh well. <clears throat> oh! You've got to be kidding me! Again? This is so annoying! You guys probably don't even know how annoying it is. It just drives me nuts. I can't do a dang thing in this game without lag. Not a thing. I 
Or not really lag, but I guess terrible frame rate. deal with this crap again hopefully on the other side of the yard it picks up I just don't get it it runs fine and then all of a sudden it just dies and it doesn't come back it sucks is what oh it's so annoying Really not picking up. <sighs> I don't know what the deal is with this crap. It's so annoying. That's all I know. Okay, so we need to move the grain cart out of the way. No matter where I look, it doesn't get any better, which really sucks. The only place I can look is in cab straight at the ground. It's the only place that makes it any better. Which is ridiculous. This computer should not be running like this. I mean, this is a gaming laptop for crying out loud, and it can't even run a dang game. How pathetic. I don't know, I think I maybe need to try uninstalling and reinstalling again, or something. I think, uh, once I'm done with this, video I'm gonna call and call some places and see if I can figure out you know, where to take it what could be the issue and field 32 band and this is pathetic I mean come on All I want to do is play the dang game. Can't even do that. And I appreciate everybody's suggestions as to what it is, but it's not the trucks, it's nothing like that. I've been using all of these mods for the longest time, and it is not them. I know for a fact. It is just something in my computer that is all screwed. Okay, so I'm going to do another restart on this stupid game. And All right, and we're back again, hopefully for the last time. Let's get to some combining. Yeah, I just uh, sent an email to a place called CRAM here. Uh, I just explained my issue. So I'm not sure if anybody there can help or not, but I just I want to figure out what I need to do 
uh, to try and fix this issue and uh, so hopefully somebody there can help me if not I don't know what else I'm going to do because there's really no other good computer places in this area I mean, we have like a office depot but they're not the greatest place in the world uh, but yeah hopefully I can figure it out because it is quite annoying I'm going to go ahead and get on GPS here isn't the greatest here but we'll take care of that later on I didn't even realize that it was this horrible I never did go check the ground I just kind of figured that everything was perfect. Turns out it's not. <laughs> not at all. But uh, once the harvest is over, we'll be taking care of the uh, soil nutrients. So. We'll have to spread some lime, put some NPK down. Uh, once, what we're going to do is we'll rent a baler uh, after this, after harvest is over. Uh, that way we can get this field all baled up. And then uh, we'll get everything, all the bales loaded up and moved off, off the field. And then we will, um, well, we can probably just, yeah, we'll just rent it. Um, and then we will... <clears throat> take the applicator uh, we have the blue jet uh, and hydrus rig so we'll take that and we'll put down some NPK with that and then we'll go ahead and run over with cultivator and then we'll spray some NPK and then we'll go ahead and plant and then we'll see where our nutrients stand and go from there uh, actually after before we cultivate we have to put down some lime We'll have to uh, rent a rent or buy a spreader for that. Probably just buy it and hook it to the 4555. I wouldn't do that idea. So yeah, we own fields uh, 29, 30, 31, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we have quite a few fields. Uh, only uh, five of them are farmable. The other three are, well, two of them are grass fields, and then the third one is an you know, alfalfa field, which you see right there. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, for sure we'll be doing dairy, um, but uh, I hope we can do beef as well because I I like doing beef. I just never really do them much because usually the price is complete crap. Uh, like on Dad's farm, it was two dollars for one cow, which is pathetic when it costs you two hundred and fifty dollars just to buy it.
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make a lot of money off of this stuff. I wish I had gone and looked at uh, the field conditions. Didn't. Oh well, I guess it's land that we're starting with. And don't want to be driving over the crops to spray and spread, so we'll just take it as it is and we'll make next season better. Just gotta keep moving forward, I guess. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. It was another kind of spraying video on my map. Uh, just kind of screwing around. Um, and also the uh, video from the farm. Uh, I wish I had gotten more footage, but my phone ended up dying and I didn't get time to run back over to the farm or over to the house and get my charger or take my phone over there and plug it in. Uh, so didn't get a chance to do that but probably gonna be down there again another time maybe next week or the week after something like that uh, my uncle has a bunch more stuff he wants to get done he wants to cut down a bunch of trees and uh, expand a field uh, into where the trees were uh, and then also cut some trees down in the yard uh, so he wants help with that He's going to be starting to combine sunflowers here in the next week or so, he's hoping. Uh, he said they're a little too wet right now, so he wants, he's thinking letting them sit over the weekend and combining next week. So he, uh, he's going to start that next week if they're dry enough. So he's hoping that they are. Uh, he's just got corn and sun sunflowers left. I almost said soybeans and sunflowers at the same time. Uh, he's hoping to get a lot of corn, but he's not for sure of what, uh, what it'll be like. And, uh, he wants to put as much corn into the bins as he possibly can. So he's hoping to fill them all, if at all possible. Uh, all six 10,000 bushel bins. So... Uh, he said now, after combining soybeans, he said he wished he had put uh, more soybean ground in instead of more corn. Uh, because he said his soybeans did... Let's see what he did. 60 some odd bushels or something like that. Now he said it was pretty dang good, so... He was like, no, I kind of wish I had done more beans and less corn, but... Yes, then, uh, I don't know how much corn and sunflowers he has planted. I think quite a bit. So I'll try and please you, uh, in cab loving people. Um, Try and do some in cab combining. Combining is about one of the easiest things to do in cab, especially with um, if you're using GPS and not using a ginormous header, one where the edge is like way out there or something. An unrealistic header, like I've seen some people use, it's just ridiculous. It's like a 300 foot draper header or something so really come on if they take this header and expand it by like 30 times its size or something like that something just plain ridiculous so yeah the last two days i've been doing a lot of work on my map again uh finally finished up that uh one neighboring livestock farm uh, that I was working on in the last video of my map being worked on I guess uh, the last Giants editor video of my map and I uh, finished that up so I'm going to start on the next farm uh, hopefully today uh, yeah all the way around the field and we're not even 15% full 
that's ridiculous. Not the greatest week drop, but uh, hopefully next season will be better. Well, it will be better because we're going to sit and do a lot of uh, soil management. Out here in the field, my frame rate's staying up. For now, at least. So should just about be able to get set up here. Yes, I do. Just a little bit on the edge there, but so be it. I really like this wheat texture. I think I'm gonna have to put it on my map. I do wanna. I don't know if I wanna overlay my map onto this one, but uh, I definitely wanna get all the crop stuff copied over from this map. Because uh, this map has oats, soybeans, sunflowers, sorghum, rye, and alfalfa. And I wanna add all of those to my map, except for the rye. Because uh, rye, I don't think, is combined in this area, or farm, or whatever. Uh, I want to add the alfalfa, because, you know, you could plant alfalfa as a cover crop, and you could get good nutrients from it, or, you know, to make a little extra cash, you could uh, farm it, make some bales off of it, there you go. Uh, something, you know, I, I'm not adding beef to my map. I decided I'm not going to so, so yeah uh, gonna try and really kick it in gear with my mods especially because there's a whole bunch of new models on polygonish that I really really want to get because there's a lot of nice ones uh, there's a nice bush hog on there there's um, some there's a landall or a devilman um, tillage tool on there. Just a bunch of really, really nice stuff. Uh, that I want to buy. So. so. Yeah, I'll have to take, try and really kick it in gear on my stuff and try and get it, uh, try and get it finished so that way I can make room for new projects. second but uh, I remember that it was my auto save there. I don't even think we're gonna get a full truckload off of this map off of this field not map this field it is gonna be pretty pathetic if we don't but uh, hey it happens I guess see so, yeah, currently I have yesterday's video uploading um, I am recording this video a day in advance. I'll probably be recording a few videos in advance uh, while I'm combining because I plan to plan to work on this field for a while. Uh, work on combining for a little while. So I want to get videos for the weekend so I don't have to worry about recording anything this weekend. Yes, fine. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll just we'll do a little bit more combining since we had to do a lot of stopping and restarting and that kind of crap. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll get to the other side of the field. Call it video. Or back to where we started, I guess. Really wish I hang down and check the fields with the corner before combine. But then I would have had to drive over the drop and that's not the fun I think, so it's kind of a lose lose situation I guess. So yeah, once this video is over, I'm gonna like get ahead on the combining a little bit um, just that it's like not where we left off I'm gonna do you know a good amount so that way we're maybe about halfway through the field something like that so I think we can set our green card up for 95% well, really, we're probably not even going to need the green card. The only thing we're going to fill up at this stage. The yeah, pH is 1.4 lower than what it should be. Moisture, I think, is actually pretty close to where it should be. I think 57 is about where it should be. Better at 75, something like that. Moisture is okay, but uh, the nutrient levels should be a fair bit higher than they are. It's a wonderful farm. Yeah, on the way down to the farm on uh, Tuesday, I saw quite a few uh, people out combining corn. And, uh, looked like it was doing pretty well. And we also saw a couple of people out combining soybeans. It's definitely that time of year where fall harvest is heavily underway. quite a few nice looking combines and really just harvest setups in general. Uh, one we saw there was two I think they were S690s uh, with I think they were eight row headers on them. And the corn heads and then um, they had a nice big kill grows uh, auger on them or grain card dog lean on them uh, run by Looks like a 9560R maybe. Uh, some nice semis as well. Really nice crews. My favorite thing to see is the custom harvest crews because 
those guys usually have some pretty awesome uh, trucks and you know, like that's my favorite thing to see about the custom trees is the semis that they use they have some very very nice trucks uh, most of the time anyways uh, there was one time coming back from our farm me and my dad we saw a, a custom crew going on going the opposite direction on the interstate and uh, they had one piece it looked like a 379 uh, flat top all blacked out that thing was just nice it looked awesome and, uh, and they had a nice orange one with uh, really, really nice fenders, straight stacks. It was wonderful. It was definitely a beauty. Alright, so I think that's going to about do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out down below in the description for my PC specs, links to my social medias. Uh, my video schedule is down below as well. I just noticed today that uh, I forgot to change it to my updated schedule. So I uh, went ahead and changed that. Um, my social medias are linked down below. Uh, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Google Plus, my Flickr. I think that's all that's down there. As well as my uh, mod site. Check out the YouTube channels that are linked down below. There's definitely some good ones down there. That are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you.